Alrighty. So time to go for my little walk. Get the ankle stretched out. It's feeling much better today. So I don't have that severe stiffness that I did yesterday. Just slightly diminished. And I'm thinking Friday, I can coax maybe a couple throws, maybe at 50%, and just work on maybe my release and go slow and make sure I don't re-injure it. So, and for the walk, chances are I'll catch the wife coming back from town. But uh, so far, really, really productive morning. Yeah, but magazines, big waste of paper. So, and walk down to Mud Creek, maybe a little bit further. And the walking just is is getting the ankle to heal. Now walking, not running. And all it does is just loosens everything up, gets the blood circulating through there, carrying nutrients and vitamins there to aid in the repair process. So, good morning so far. Got up about 8 o'clock. Like I said, I don't get to bed until midnight. So I got my 6 to 8 hours rest in. Already had a very nutritious breakfast. Rode till the garden. Picked some peppers out in the garden. Cooked breakfast. Played some Fallout 4. And now... Took a walk out to the pond, post that video later, and now on for my hike, probably go about two miles. Another beautiful sunny day. <clears throat> when you're out in the sun like this, besides aiding with the circulation and the cardio, your, your body's producing vitamin D, it's also producing some other endorphins that make you feel better. You know, feeling depressed get out in the sun enjoy the the outdoors it's probably about in the upper 70s right now and it's summertime so I'm used to it just make sure you stay well hydrated and, uh, and pay attention to what your body's telling you but it's easy just to sit in the couch it's easy to sit there and watch TV or, you know, play on the Xbox. And it, it doesn't hurt to do that for a little bit. It's just if you're doing that all the time, it's not healthy for you. You need to get out there and, and get moving. And if you don't feel, you know, I don't feel motivated, just go out and do it anyway. Once you start, then you'll say, hey, this is pretty cool. Oh, look here, we got a... Right there on the clover. Oh, yeah. So they're coming through in big numbers. And also getting some nice flowers growing. Lots of interesting things. I appreciate everybody that stops in on the channel and hits the thumbs up and hopefully the content is somewhat motivating. And we'll get some more exercise one out. Uh, right now I just, the wife's off. You know, it's the only time I get to spend time with her. So uh, I try to do more exercises around the house and in the gym. And that's okay because all exercise is good. I've got the pull up bar upstairs, I got the dumbbells outside and the weights outside, I got the weights inside. I don't record everything I do, but I do, I do stay active and I'm still lifting. But uh, yeah, once school starts, then I'll be back to the serious time in the gym again. 
whichever gym I may be at. You never know. But with the sun shining, man, I just want to be outside. You know, rainy day, I'll go in the gym, but if weather like today, man, I just got to be out here. Got to enjoy it. It's what life's about. You know, given thought why we have some of the derangement out in society and a lot of it is, is number one, it's too easy for us to survive. And it is. I mean, compared to what our great, great grandparents had to go through, we got it easy. Yeah, it's fairly easy to get a job. It's fairly easy to have food provided for you. Shelter. Not that there isn't a homeless problem, but you know, a lot of us who are sitting there and saying we're oppressed, you got nothing to be oppressed about. If you got a roof over your head, three meals a day, and clothes, and you're making those videos on a thousand dollar phone, come on, we ain't oppressed. <clears throat> and all these other people looking for a cause. You know, I was on TikTok briefly and they're upset about this country singer singing about, you know, try that in a small town. Well, folks in big towns, big cities, you guys are doing a lot of foolish stuff. You're electing people that allow criminals to come back out on the street and keep victimizing you. You did that to yourself. You elected weak people. You looked at these people and said, oh, here, I'm going to give you a handout. But, you know, I'm not going to sit there and, and punish those who prey upon you. And then you need their handouts more. You know, they suckered you in, and you voted for them. So you keep voting for them, I don't feel sorry for you. You did this to yourself. You try to bring that stuff in a small area where people... You know, look after each other, it ain't going to go well for you. You know, we got people who are just inventing issues. And it's because you don't have to struggle. So I guess you invent a struggle. You know, man, just live and be happy. You know, be concerned about yourself. Don't be concerned about other people. And don't tell people they have to sit there and, and curtail to your former reality. Because they don't. Pretend what you want. But I don't have to play into that game. And nobody else does. I ain't telling you not to, st to stop. Do what you want to do. Alright? Just leave me out of it. And we'll both be happier. Here we come up to... I'm going to try to come up quietly to this area because there's a, a sunken log. You know, a tree fell over. And that's generally a place where turtles will see if I can catch them here. They'll crawl up on that log and sunbathe. And, and it's amazing how far they can climb. Okay. I think I already see one up on the side. It's got to be really quiet. Maybe we can catch them before they dive in the water.
So that turtle's just sitting there, just the sunning. And it helps to heat their body up, and if they get too hot, then they'll just hop in the water and cool down. And the vehicle noise helps actually, because they won't know I'm there. Now on the other side, I usually kick up a frog or a soft shell. So I'm going to try to come slowly and see if I can see him before he takes off. There he is, right there. See? Big old soft shell. I have him. He's just there under the water. There he goes. So that's his favorite spot. Well. I picked up both turtles. And he's a lot bigger. He's either gotten bigger or he's a different turtle. It may have gotten bigger. So there'll be some nice little short videos to put on my farms and prepping. Got about 634 subscribers there. It's going kind of slow. YouTube doesn't really have those big viral moments anymore. You know, it used to be where every now and then they would just push the heck out of a video and help you out. And I don't think they're doing that. <coughs> That's how this channel got made. Because I put out one, just get in the out in the gym and lift. And within three months time, I had 600,000 views. And that, you know, that made it for me. There are my puppy dogs. That was a game changer. Ah, there we go. Like, hello, hello, hello. Oh, yeah, how you doing? What's up, puppy dogs? <laughs> you got that meal. Hi there, puppy dogs. Hello. My neighbor. And I gotta say hello to dogs. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. How you doing? Oh. How you doing? Ah, oh, now be nice. Be nice. Be nice. I got jealous. Be nice. Behave. Yeah. Yeah. They get jealous. They get jealous. Yes, they do. They get jealous. All right, I gotta go. Heading back. Or do I want to have to cut the corner? Maybe I'll cut the corner. I haven't done that for a while. Pretty nice walk. Ah, I cut back around. I want to get home before the wife gets home. So two turtles, some frogs at the pond, a bunch of dragonflies, got the garden tilled up, pulled some weeds. It's been a productive day. I remember, you know, you're bored, you find yourself sitting on the couch and watching too much TV, just get up, put your walking shoes on, go for a walk. Enjoy the sunshine. You know, get to know what's around your area. You know, I always was interested in that when I was a kid. How many different types of snakes were in the area? Mice, rats, shrews, turtles, birds. All that stuff was of interest. Sometimes your best entertainment is the great outdoors. And yesterday there was a red-tailed hawk and then it kicked up a blue heron. You know, it's just, uh, if you go out and explore, there's a beautiful world out there. You know, that's why I try to take care of it. 
you know, in the, in the early spring when I can see everything, I, you know, I pick up the garbage up and down the street. They say, well, that really don't help the environment. Sure it does. You know, no animal wants to live underneath the aluminum can. Oh, there's that turtle again. So he likes to be on the edge. Let me see if I can come up here and get you a good angle. And he's bigger. There he goes. Up, up, there he, and he went underneath again. I don't know how much of the video would have caught of that. And then there's the one other turtle still there on the log. Yep, still sitting there in the log relaxing. I mean, the turtles can stay underwater for a long time. I caught one out here in the net. And I was afraid that I drowned it, but it, it was fine. And so then I took it to my pond and, and let it go there. So that's a big old turtle. I'm trying to... Oh, that one finally jumped in the water. So I've been seen. So, I mean, the wildlife is there. You just have to look for it. Of course, they're easy to see once they move. Yep. So, anyway. Folks, I'm enjoying the day. I'm going to start getting preparations for lunch. Lunch for Mama and me, and then some extra meals to take home, or take to work. It's Wednesday. It's going to be my, my first full week in a couple of weeks. We had the holiday, which I did work that. And then I had my event up in Pittsburgh, so I missed two days on that. This weekend I'm taking off. I asked about it, but I said, you know, I got some family things going on. <clears throat> you know, sometimes you just gotta go out there and enjoy, enjoy the year. I'm actually looking about, you know, when can I retire? Do I have to wait another three, four years? Can I do it in two years? You know, you know, how can I have that happen? You know. Just all those kind of choices. I mean, I like it out here, but I could move to a state where the taxes are lower. I mean, we're looking at a place that had 20 acres and and uh, asking twice as much of what my property is, but the taxes were a third or a quarter of what mine were. You know significant amount to be able to you know have three maybe four thousand dollars less in tax debt a year you know you start factoring it into your income so if I move out there and that's four thousand dollars added to my income you know well then you know what else I mean you know in about a year, I'll have my car paid off. About two years, the wife will have hers paid off. They're both in good shape. Well, if we can go a couple years without car payment. Well, there's another, you know, eight, nine thousand dollars a year, maybe even ten. So now there's fourteen thousand income I've created by really not doing much. And then another thing is eliminate debt. So if I get us to eliminate our card debt, which is not bad, but could be better, but you know, there's maybe another four or five thousand dollars and I'm not making a payment. So now there's eighteen thousand. Haven't even done anything yet. And if I can find a job similar to what I have now, well I've just given myself a eighteen thousand dollar a year raise. 
significant. Now, if I can do that and draw Social Security, well, things seem doable. That's even before I, I, I dip in any sort of savings plan, or pension plan. Get off me, bug. Yeah. So, those are things I'm thinking of. Yeah, I'm 62. Full retirement age is 66. It's only four years away. Job I have got full benefits. Yeah, I don't know if I can work there and draw my or my uh, Social Security. Well, then that, that'd be huge because then all my insurance is still taken care of. So these are questions I have. I don't have the answers for them yet. Some things I need to do. <coughs> Do some research, which I think I'll do this afternoon before I go to work. I've got to log into my Social Security, and I'm sure they got calculators there. First of all, see how much I would get on a monthly basis, and how much I can make before they start deducting it. So. You know, and that's what these walks are good for also. Kind of get your mind thinking about things. It's good for planning. I know, I digress. But thanks for joining me on this walk. I appreciate it. Leave comments in the comment section. Like, subscribe, send me gifts, all that other good YouTube stuff. Any, any of the money I do collect goes towards equipment for either the track and field or my lifting is so I can present more material for you. Hey everybody, have a wonderful day.